So for anyone that doesn't know about Travis Trek, just explain to us what it's all about. Well, uh, we've got Travis here who's currently uh, Scotland's Guide Dog of the Year. Ever since I've had Travis, we've, uh, we've decided to do a wee, a wee charity event and um, it's encompassed what's been all the, the big long distance walks in Britain. Thanks to the generosity for all the supporters throughout the world. Uh, we've managed to raise £85,000, every penny going back to guide dogs, mate. And this year, um, we're, we're very much on target, set our sale a target, uh, reaching £100,000. And uh, we're, we're, uh, to, to be able to give the charity that, that kind of money back, after they've, um, you know, they've given me my, my life back, as it were, with, with two, two brilliant guide dogs, it's, it's, it's going to mean, mean an enormous... An honest thing to me, you know what I mean? Travis now is in his eighth year, and uh, you know, the, the usual retirement year and uh, for a guide dog is in their tenth year. So, um, yeah, we're, we're, we're going to, this will be his last big one uh, in three weeks' time, and uh, everything's getting sorted out just now. He's a remarkable dog, isn't he? Ah, he's, I mean, the, the, the guide dog people uh, say he's without a doubt the first guide dog in Britain. I mean, they, my, my, my left hand side here, it's all muscular with him just putting me up and doing hills and all the lengths that we've done. I must be well over, you know, a few thousand miles that we've, we've walked now. And uh, it's been very, very enjoyable. And uh, thanks to them, we've made it. And it's everyone's been a guide dog first, first guide dog to do all, all these long distance walks, you know. If I can inspire or motivate him to come out and enjoy a wee bit of this country, it, it, it means a lot to me, Michael, you know, because. Um, you know, people just take so much for granted, and when you've got this lovely countryside to go out there and enjoy, get some fresh air, it's, it's amazing, you know. And the feedback we got for the last for the last year, and for, for, for every Travis trek, is it's that way inclined, you know. There's been a lot of people come out and enjoyed the outdoors, and uh, and in, in the meantime, uh, took part in the events and uh, thoroughly enjoyed ourselves. And we've we've got, we've got really good friends now for every, every single trek we've done. And especially last year, with all the legends involved, um, it, it was it was very very eventful, you know. A lot of Rangers fans will be interested when they when they hear of these legends that are going to be involved this time around again. Just tell us some of the, the famous faces that are going to be taking part. Well, uh, the, the the first one is um, is um, Mr. Terry Hurlock, who was as everybody all knows, um, <clears throat> was one of the hardest men ever to put put on a on on, on, on a, a football jersey. It didn't matter what team he played with, but uh, Ter Terry Hurlock is one of the, the biggest gentlemen you'll you'll meet in your life. The salt of the earth, and it helps us so much to get things moving, and and he, he puts so much endeavour into to to enjoying the walks, and you know, and getting people involved, and and at night time it can be a wee bit lively as well. So we've got Terry, we've got Arthur Newman. Arthur's been a, an amazing ambassador, and they uh, helped with their charity endeavours the last few years, and he became the patron of Travis Trek. Uh, Arthur's helped us no end. We've got Arthur, we've got uh, Mark Cately coming out as well. We've got um, Stuart McCall coming up, we've got John Brown, um, Alec Ray, um, Gordon Jury, Alan McLaren, oh, I've got about 15 in all um, coming out just now, a lot more to be confirmed, and at, at night as well, after a, a lovely day in the country with brilliant fresh air, brilliant crack, the laughter you, you can't buy, um, we, we, we have a special events at night, you know, where everybody just mingles, a, a wee question and answer session with the, with the legends, the heroes, who um, give you a, week, a few exclusives and that, and the crack's brilliant, and a couple of beers and a nice, a nice meal, but no, you, you, you couldn't make it up, you know what I mean, you could not, if you're a, a big a big football fan, not just Rangers fans, uh, come out and they, they can meet these people and, uh, and get some brilliant stories, you know, it's fantastic.